All right, Coach, thank you. EA Sports coverage of the NFL finds us at Bank of America Stadium in Uptown Charlotte. Just a moment ago, the lights, the cameras, the action, all the pyrotechnics, everything was ablaze, everything was allowed here in Bank of America Stadium as Carolina emerged from their tunnel. And we are ready to go as the Panthers get set to match up with the Atlanta Falcons. The holiday season is upon us. We've got the gift of the NFL as we're underway here in week 16. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. carry for Christian McCaffrey and he's able to plow forward up to about the 29 just shy of the 30. Malik Jackson there to make the stop. Defensively here you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL so when they're that high powered you've got to find a way to hold them under 20 because to me that's the magic number. 20 points scored gives yourself your, you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. I think so because then you turn it into a shootout, and that means your offense has to keep pace. On second down, here's Newton. And the tight end Olsen right side. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Newton to Olsen there for a Carolina first down. Just the first quarter, but tackling going to be so important going forward. They've got to limit plays like that. And that's something when you see it happen early in the game and they don't get him on the ground, you can always tell that they were concerned about it going in. Because I can just tell you from my days, I remember being in college hey, hey. and worrying all offseason about our season open opponent, and they had a receiver that could shake and bake with the best of them. I tackled him on the first pass of the game, and the relief was incredible. Ended up having a pretty decent ball game. Oh, missed him. <laughs> that would have been a long story. night. Man, he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. It's an eight-yard pickup, and that'll bring up second down. This is Newton off the play fake to McCaffrey. And this will be broken up and incomplete. Now a penalty flag down, and they may be going backward here. So they were looking to throw, holding on a big right tackle. That's real simple, partner. Keep your hands inside in the chest area. You're probably okay. You get it out on the shoulders, get them wide. You're usually going to pick up a holding call. They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. The shotgun snap for Newton. Forced out to his left. All in all, no gain on the play, and it'll bring up third. Well, the defensive guys won't be real happy because there won't be a sack on this play because he did get back to the line of scrimmage. But what a job they did overall. Hemmed him in and gave him nowhere to go with the football. And for the Falcons, five men in the secondary, now on third. Out of the gun, Newton. Got his target, Samuel. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A very solid gain of 27. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 11 more on that one, and another first down. 
And there we see an early burst that makes him one of the leading rushers in the league. Well, I want you to know, I listened to you yesterday when we were watching film. You said, write down the word vision for him. And it was on display there, wasn't it? It certainly was, because he allows the blocks to set up in front of him. And if that continues, it could be a long afternoon for those guys trying to play some defense. Back to the ground on first, it's McCaffrey. No dice this go around. He's hit behind the line and taken down. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Now a play fake, and it's Newton. He's got a man on the crossing route. That's more. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. And this will be play number eight of the opening drive. It's third and short. And he goes backwards here, losing yardage back to the 16. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. Well, that's the big drawback to this play. Even if somehow the quarterback pitches it, he's not immune to the big hit. In this case, he kept it and absorbed it anyway. And Gano's kick is right through. And the Panthers stake claim to a 3-0 lead. So an opening drive field goal maybe doesn't whip this crowd into a frenzy, but I think that they will take the early lead. There's no doubt about it. They will always take the early lead, and maybe that celebration comes later if they play well and they can break things open. But right now, this is all about letting the offense just get settled in. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll wind up about four yards shy of where he would have been if he had taken a knee as they'll start at the 21-yard line. Ryan and the Falcons now come up first and 10 at their own 21. They'll run for the first time with Devontae Freeman. They got 18 yards out of that one, and it gets him a new set of downs. Charles, they won last week despite him not running the ball well. They told us need to get him going. Runs like that help. And they talked to us about leaning on him because, as you noted, last week they didn't have to. Still won the ball game. They leaned on other people to give them the yardage that they needed. But they really want him to be that guy, and that's what they're doing early in this game. Freeman again, a first down carry. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. Out of the gun, it's Ryan. And it's hauled in by Austin Hooper. Give him eight on the play, and it'll be second and 12. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Get up! Second down, here's Ryan. Complete to Jones. And he's going to be taken down with a marker on the field. So let's see about the call. That hold coming from the left side of the line. Hands got caught in the cookie jar on that one, and the flag came out. Penalty against him. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. From the shotgun, Ryan. 
And finding the tight end, Hooper. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. So now third and ten, a big play to start the drive, but nothing since. From the gun, it's Ryan. He's airing it out for Sanu. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by the safety, T.J. Ward. And his guys are going to take over at the 21-yard line. Well, they didn't exactly show patience there, did they? Just down a score, they come out firing right away and compound things by throwing an interception. They put their defense in a really tough spot. Carolina getting set to take the field. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had a field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> <laughs> not one that I've ever met. Had the completed pass, but for no gain, stopped right at the line, so it's second and ten. From the gun, here's Newton. To the right side, and he's got more complete. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. And they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. And just a small glimpse there as to why they like this rookie so much. And that's why they lit up a little bit in our meetings with the coaching staff. Yeah, they? when we talked about him, they did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They like his work ethic. You know, this guy's running every route well in the route tree and getting better at it all the time, really honing his game. They expect a pretty good jump out of him as things continue to move on. Newton will bring him up first and ten. And he's a perfect six for six here to start the ball game. With my good friend Charles Davis, Brandon Gauden with you. It's the Panthers in possession of the football as we begin quarter number two. And they've got it here with a first down. Back at the 44. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Anytime you call an inside running play, you just know there should be a lot of congestion there. You're counting on your offensive line to take control of the line of scrimmage. That didn't happen in this case, and that play got bottled up. To throw on second down is Newton. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. The Panthers on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and 11. It was Ricardo Allen there on the coverage. Well, he's been targeted quite a bit on this drive, and finally I think the guys on the defensive side, they said no more. They slapped the double coverage on him, made it very tough for him to get the ball. And just a single punt for him in the loss last week as he sends this one away. Atlanta now coming out on the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive or no? You just throw that out the window. 
I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being looking for Jones, and it's intercepted. Delta Jackson picks it, and they are going to set up shop at the 32-yard line. Well, they were obviously backed up, had a little bit of space from the goal line, snapping it from the three, but still try to throw it, and... Yeah, exactly. This is where hindsight is 20-20 comes into play, right? Seems like a good idea to throw the ball there. Maybe you'll surprise them and catch them off guard. Instead, you've created a turnover and put your defense in a bad spot. Now, following the interception, here's Newton. His throw caught at the five. And he will take it across for a Panthers touchdown. DJ Moore with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Panthers add on to their lead. Extra point try good by Godot. And the lead grows to 10 0. Gano out to kick this one away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. So out come the Falcons now. And it's been a miserable start for them offensively. Obviously, two drives, two interceptions. And this is where you have to know your quarterback and know how you actually have to reach him. Do you do it with a little bit of humor? Maybe you break the ice a little bit like, hey, didn't we practice in that color jersey all week, not the one that you're throwing it to? Or maybe you have to be stern with him. But whatever it's going to take to get the message, it has to be done. He's putting the game in jeopardy. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. He's just going to dump this one off to his fullback out of the backfield. A gain of four on the play, and that'll make it a second down. Now, that's often a surprise for the defensive guys when they see the big fella slide out of the backfield and catch the ball. Not something they usually go over and practice very often. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Operating from the gun, Ryan escaping the pressure right. Oh, a battle for it here, and this will be caught. First time they've hooked up here. Good for 17 and a first down. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. This is Freeman on first and 10. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 12 more yards there and another first down. Exactly what they needed right there because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. to the 29. That's going to go as a loss of a yard and it'll be second down. For those who watch the game and want to question the courage of the guys who play on the corner, how about when you see a toss sweep coming your way, yet you still go into the backfield, get past the blockers, and make the tackle. That's big league. throw it with Ryan. Under a heavy rush and down he goes. Mario Addison in there to get him and that's sack number 12 for him on the year. So the sack pushes him back and now third and long for Ryan and the Falcons.
from the gun. Ryan. And this is going to be incomplete. When I watched that play, I thought about what my coaches had told me in the past. The biggest teaching point, get your head around. Locate the football so you can make a play on it while it's in the air. That's exactly what he did there. That was nice. And that one's not going to get there. Not enough juice. An ambitious effort, but it's well short. And this score will stay right where it is. Well, this winds up an empty possession. Everything looked okay. He just never got the ball on target. And knowing him, they'll be disappointed with that effort. So the long field goal misses, and now the reverse. You're in a tough spot defensively. They'll start the drive at the 43. They go play action here on first down. He's going to fire one deep over. It's caught inside the 25. And he does take it in for the touchdown, but a flag on the field, and I don't think this is going to stand. Yeah, don't put the points on the board just yet. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. Operating from the gun. Newton. Over the middle, complete to Samuel. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. 13 yards there, offset some of the penalty yardage as it's second down. Second down, McCaffrey. And he works his way forward for about four up to the midfield strike. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. A minute 59 to go in the first half. Back with more from Charlotte after this. Here we go. Here's Newton now on second down. Looking for the tight end, Olsen, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Keanu Neal. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. They are in an interception mood on defense. Had two nice interceptions a week ago. Now two here in the first half. Yeah, we call it ball hawking. And the only way to truly be good ball hawks is not guessing. It's not just simply anticipation. It's study and understanding what they like to do and beating them to the spot and creating big plays. They're watching the film, and it's working. So a nice job to break the one tackle, but not much daylight after that as he's brought down. I think it's okay there. They didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target, guy you can spot pretty easily. Put it on him when your other targets aren't open. On second down, Ryan. Over the middle, that's caught by Ridley. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. And a nice gain of 21 yards. Thus far, it hasn't been a real fun half for them, but a play like that, that may get them off the schneid a little bit, get them loosened up and moving. Kind of seems like they've been sleepwalking and still sitting on zero points. And it's not always making an adjustment. Sometimes it's just going back to what you know can work and finally getting it done. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. And that's the connection, Ryan to Jones, that this defense obviously has to key in on. Certainly feels like they got the party started with that one, doesn't it? And when those two get in sync, 
it just scares the heck out of defenses because he can hit Julio Jones in a short zone and he can take it the whole way. Is they're feeling good about just keeping the football there. Yeah, the biggest thing that they're calling it now, our ball. <laughs> I mean, they don't care if it was luck or skill, but the panic that jumps up in your chest when that ball's on the ground, whether you get it or your teammate gets it, just as long as you maintain possession, that's all you're looking for. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go before halftime. A first chance in the red zone for the Falcons now. They've got it first and goal at the six. From the gun. Ryan. Oh, he can't hang on. That was a dream chance for any D lineman to possibly get a pick. But instead, it falls down incomplete. of scrimmage once again the five as they get ready for second and goal to throw again is Ryan and that'll be hauled in by the tight end it's Hooper for the Falcon touchdown Austin Hooper his fourth touchdown on the year and the Falcons draw a bit closer Bryant tacks on the extra point, and that'll cut it to three at 10-7. Now here's Bryant to kick it away. Fielded about a yard deep. And the decision to bring it out, a good one, as he's up a yard or two shy of the 30. Carolina getting set to take the field. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Flush to his right. And some space here. Space to maneuver at the 40. The escapability in evidence there is that one. Good for 15 and a first. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead. As he'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. Play fake here on first down. Over the middle and into the hands of his receiver Moore. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line. And they'll burn the timeout with five seconds left. A chance to try to add three points before heading to the locker room. 
So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. He connected on his first. This time it's 39 yards away. And Gano's kick is right through. And the lead stretches to six here. It's 13-7. So they get the three, increase their lead to close out the half. Excellent way to end a drive. Go into the locker room with a little bit of extra momentum after adding three to their total. Short, short kick. One of the up middle take it down. So it's halftime here in Charlotte with the Panthers out on top. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. And they will not get it. chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback and here now come the falcons they're close close game but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two no i would agree with that totally i would guess it in the locker room they talked about cleaning up some of the errors but overall i think they wanted to be positive with them guys we're right there just not playing as well as we need to let's pick it up and we still have a chance to win this game yeah they do we'll see if they can pick it up Third quarter starts with a run by Freeman. And he stopped immediately there. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle, that's what we saw right there. Yeah, and that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends are like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. to throw on second down. Ryan, and he's going to be intercepted a third time. It's the Pro Bowl to Luke Kinkley that picks it. And this return is going to be halted right around the 28-yard line. Well, that's three picks he's now thrown in this game. And I know this, the holiday season, because oh, here we are season in December. Of giving. Right, it is the season of giving. Maybe for his own sake after the game, he may have to announce that he's donating certain amounts to charity for each interception that he threw. They'll fake the handoff. Now moving. And the Falcons get there. The Falcons get the sack. Down he goes. Malik Jackson in there to drop him for his fifth sack of the year. So second and long, and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. This is Newton off the play, fake to McCaffrey. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. The pressure really ratcheting up. They get the sack on first down, then a near sack. They got to him there just as it was leaving his hand. Yeah, they might need to change their pass protection scheme a little bit. Maybe bring another guy into the backfield to help protect the quarterback because that was awfully close. The Panthers on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This will be third and a mile. A shotgun snap for Newton. Throw right side is going to be caught by Samuel. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. 
It'll be a gain of eight, but it also lead to a fourth down. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. So three field goals that he's hit now. This last one helps him stretch out the lead. He's been solid, hasn't he? And he lives up to the adage that every offensive coach has ever said to us. We want to end every possession with a kick, right? For them, it's either extra point, field goal, or at worst, a punt. In this case, it's been threes. Ryan will bring the Falcons up now first and 10 at their 25-yard line. The drive will start with a carry by Devontae Freeman. And he'll wind up with about six, up past the 30 to the 31. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time you hand the ball to him back. second down. Ryan wide open receiver complete. And he'll be taken down but not before he gets into enemy territory. A good pick up there at 22. Ryan now hitting on two thirds of his passes. 10 for 15 so far. First and 10. Operating from the gun, Ryan. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. We have not seen a whole lot of wide open receivers. Everything seemingly has been contested. And that's another nice job there to force an incompletion. They've been very cohesive, knowing each other's moves all game long. And they've been on the spot just about every time. And they've held them in check on the scoreboard. This is Coleman. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. Two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead him to third down. Oftentimes we praise an offense for their variety of being able to hit people with the run in the pass, but in this game, how about what we're seeing from the safeties? They are all over the field. Doesn't matter if they threw it or if they're trying to run it. I don't think we've ever awarded an MVU most valuable unit, but you're right, it might go to them in this game. I like that, MVU. Well done. On third down, that's Coleman, able to spin free. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. A good gain of 14 there, and it moves the chains. Well, partner, what do you think? Might have been four down territory if they didn't pick it up, but... Yeah, it's a moot point now. I was curious, though, if they didn't get it there, would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we didn't have to make that call, but I have a feeling both of us would have said, go for it. First and ten, it's Ryan. Flushed out right. And he's got some space here. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. They brought the blitz that time, and I thought they were going to get to him, but instead, he flipped it on its ear and ended up picking up positive yardage. I thought he was dead to rights, but you are exactly correct, sir. Able to turn that into a positive game. On second down, Freeman. Maybe a yard down to the 23. What an advantage having a lead guy in the middle of the defensive line because not only does he take up the space and let the linebackers run free, but he can also make plays himself, as we just saw there. The Falcons on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This time they face a third and two. From the gun, Ryan. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. It's Shaq Thompson here with a pick. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. So that's back-to-back -back drives where they've thrown an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. 
So Newton and the Panthers come up now first and 10 at their own 16. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. Now it's Newton. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. All right, let's go ahead and detail this situation here. Third and long coming up. Back near your own goal line. I would be very hesitant about throwing the football in this situation. Maybe just run, run up the middle. Yeah, I think that that might be the spot for them. you got to try and find some space for your punter because you don't want him backed up where he has to alter when he does. And he gets it up to the 10-yard line here. It's a gain of five on the play, and it'll bring up a fourth down. We often talk of situational football. Let's just call it team football. The defense did their job, got off the field, brought up a punting situation, so they're turning the ball back over to their offense. You think those guys would get along very well right now? Of course they will. Defense up the offense. Now it's their turn to take it downfield. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, and that could have been trouble. I know there's no magnet in the ball, but sometimes for the punt returner, after such a scramble, it sort of feels that way, doesn't it? He has it. He loses it. Somehow, the ball finds its way back to him. But atone for his sin, and you know he's taking a deep sigh of relief right now. Toss it to Coleman. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. And a nice carry there of 15 yards. Ah, the good old toss play. And this time they go to the left side, so give a lot of credit to the offensive line. Center, guard, tackle, able to seal that side. But the guy that we don't give enough credit to, wide receivers. They have to do a great job of blocking downfield. Otherwise, that play can be spilled in the backfield. In this case, everyone handled their responsibilities, and they picked up really nice yardage. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. Call it a one-yard gain on the play, and it'll bring up a second down. Final minute now of the third quarter. to throw on second down. Ryan finding his safety valve here. That's complete. It's a 10-yard gain there, and it sets him up now first and goal. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And this is going to result in losing yardage. They're driven back to the eight-yard line. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. And we're back now in Charlotte. It's the Falcons. They'll have the football, but trailing on the scoreboard as we get set to begin the fourth. It's second and goal back to the eight-yard line now. the gun. It's Ryan. This pass caught at the four. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. Well, as this game continues to evolve in the NFL, you know how much coaches love run after catch, but you know what they love even more? Completion. Yeah, just holding on to the ball. Catch it, cover it, tuck it away. Whatever you get after that is almost gravy. That's how a lot of these receivers are being taught now. They'll look to run with Freeman. 
And he will fight his way into the end zone for a Falcon touchdown. Devontae Freeman with touchdown number 12 on the year. And the Falcons have cut it to within a score. Bryant's extra point up and good. And that will get him one closer. Now here's Bryant to kick it away. Well, I think you'd have to say defensively, these guys are doing their job pretty well, right? Yeah, we talked about them holding them under 20 points, right, on defense. And they've done that. They've held them. The problem is their own offense hasn't answered their challenge, which was to score more. Yeah, exactly. I remember you saying magic number was right around 20, and the offense has been the issue. You're right. Some good games going on in the early window. This might be the best of the bunch. On first and ten, Newton. And he'll dump this off to his running back, McCaffrey. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. Seven yards on the play, and that'll make it second down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense... Be aware, a ball may come your way. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. They'll run it now out of the gun. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And that's going to lead to a third down. Operating from the gun, Newton got his target, Samuel, and oh, it caught it up, and the Falcons grab it, and he's able to get it back here to the 43-yard line. Well, partner, here's where team football gets tested a little bit, because I know the defensive guys were over there chilling on the sidelines, and all of a sudden, they heard the sudden change call, because that fumble puts them right back on the field. And they've got to go out and finish the game now themselves. Absolutely. Nursing that slim lead here in the fourth. A costly turnover. Here's Coleman on the toss. And he'll bring this one inside the 35. A nice run there. Nine yards. And it'll be second down. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. Back to the ground, this time with Freeman. And a short game down to about the 33. Shaq Thompson on the tackle that time. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again. Go play action and hit them over the top. On the keeper, here's Ryan. And he'll be touched out here, but not before he does pick up the first. He'll wind up getting two there as he does it himself and picks up the first. for Freeman. The loss of a full three yards and now it's second down. Well, forget about finding a lane there. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. Probably fortunate he was able to hold on to the football. Second down, here's Ryan. Dancing to his left. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. 
Give him nine on the play, and it'll be third down. The Falcons on third down. They've hit four of seven. This is third and four. From the shotgun, Ryan swings it out to the flat for Freeman. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Looked like a pretty good, safe play right there. No, he's had trouble with the interceptions in this game there. Hits his guy out in the flat. Yeah, so many times we hear quarterbacks and offensive coordinators talk about in your progressions, you're either throwing the touchdown or you're throwing the check down. But earlier in the game, it was touchdown or interception. Now he got to the check down. A nice safe throw and a good one. They'll give it to him up the middle. And that'll move him a little closer as he takes it from the seven down to the four-yard line. Well, Brandon, we always know that once you score one touchdown, you you're, want two. <laughs> you're without a doubt. And so far today, he's got one, but was denied as he tried to get the second one. Second and goal from inside the five. They come out here in the eye. And that'll be accepted, of course, and that moves him back five. Can't afford another delay here as they come up again on second and goal. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. A touchdown-saving tackle there. Now it's third and goal. Here we go, third and one. Gut check time on both sides. Try and run, Freeman. And he will take it in for a Falcon touchdown. Devontae Freeman with his 13th touchdown of the year and second of the game. And the Falcons have taken the lead here in the fourth. Here's Bryant for the extra point. Bryant tacks on the extra point, and the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Now here's Bryant to kick it away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. Here are the Panthers now as their offense comes back out onto the field. And last time, not only the turnover, but that turned into six points. They got to make up for that here. We always hear about empty possessions, but some are worse than others. You can have an empty possession, pump the ball away, get yourself set to play defense. But when you turn it over, it changes momentum. And when they take it downfield and punch it in on you, that's a bad possession all the way around. Yeah, but you're hungry to get back out there, aren't you? You better be, because otherwise, it's going to be a long day for you. Now a play fake, and it's Newton. Now a desperation throw. Oh, well, this is taken in. It's complete. And he takes this one all the way across midfield into enemy territory down to the 40-yard line. 
time for a break. We'll come back, see what transpires after this. They'll look to throw. And he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. It'll be a gain of six, and it'll be second down. But well, they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. He'll look to throw. And he'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. It's a pickup of 15 and a fresh set of downs. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. He's back to throw. This will be caught at about the six. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. The six yards on the pickup, and it leaves him with a first and goal. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. Back to throw. Eluding the pressure right. That's complete right around the eight. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Oh, I know it goes against the grain here. It totally goes against it, but you've got to drop the ball in that situation. He makes a catch, but he loses yards and doesn't get out of bounds. It's second and goal. Back to the eight-yard line now. Newton. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Second goal, last thing you need to do is get pushed backwards to take a sack. But he couldn't find anywhere to go with the football. Had to eat it and ended up on the ground. So now Cam leads the Panthers up following the sack. Carolina facing third and long. Now it's Newton. And he's got it. It's caught for a touchdown. And they have taken the lead here in the final seconds. How many people are watching this one right here who gave up? Because that score... They might want to try and rush back into this stadium. <laughs> yeah. What looks like is going to be the game-deciding score, although a little bit of time left, so you can't count your chickens before they're hatched. Well, they better come back in here and watch this one because you and I, we're not going anywhere. We want to see this one play out. Now Newton will bring the Panthers up to go for two. three-point game. So they make the decision. They want a three-point lead versus a two-point lead, and they got it. Yeah, at this stage of the game, it seems like the exact right thing to do. Put a little pressure on your defense, but the biggest thing now is you're making the other team chase you. Atlanta now coming out on the field. So you're right there, but obviously the clock is not your friend. How do you handle this situation? You're thinking two plays. One, to get yourself in position for the second one, whether you're able to get into field goal range or you have to try another deep pass, another Hail Mary, but you're trying to get the first one 
to a receiver, get out of bounds, and give yourself a chance to set things up for an easier shot at it. We'll see if they can do it. Might be easier said than done. Defense still with three timeouts. We'll see if they want to use them here as the kneel down comes. And Charles, I think when the schedule comes out, all teams, no matter where they're predicted to finish, talk about protecting your... Not letting them break your serve. That way you hold on to it. They got it done, and they feel very good about that victory. So for Carolina, it's an important win for their playoff hopes as they hit the 10-win mark now at 10-5. and five. 